All right, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a puzzle to share with you. This one is another Rabbit 3D puzzle. This one is from Hogsmeade and it's of the three broomsticks. Very excited to work on this one. As you know, um, we're all staying at home right now, so it's a great home activity to do with by yourself or with family or loved ones. Um, so this one, I'm going to pan down so that you can see me working on it on the table below. Um, and then just a side note, my boyfriend is joining in today to help me with this one. So he's not going to talk. He doesn't want to talk. He is a little camera shy, um, which I'm camera shy, but I've decided to do this and I'm roping him into it. So yeah, let's let's get started. Hey guys, sorry for the brief cut out there, but this one is just really intense. I'll show you kind of some of the pieces that I felt like were the hardest so far. Um, so I haven't put it all together yet. I wanted to show you where I'm at and talk about like how challenging this puzzle is. So you can see like the little roofs. There's just a lot of small pieces on this one. And just to talk a little bit, you know, I think Revit does a phenomenal job. Like, this is really intense to do as a puzzle key. But just to show you the instructions. So it is in black and white. And something I found really helpful with this is looking at the actual shapes. So it shows you the shapes of the pieces right here, which I have just... I didn't have to do on my first rabbit puzzle, but I am having to do on this one. I think that's fine. 
But yeah, so I'm going back through the instructions and slowly putting it together. I have this front built now, which I think is really cool. It's really beautiful. Another difficult thing, so there's a few pieces on this one that you never see on the box itself, like this inside piece here. It is really cool that they included that, but just not seeing it in a picture is really tough. I normally work from pictures on puzzles, so not again, and I said this on my first one, they just kind of give you this front image here and a couple of images on the back. I'll kind of show you those to work from. And you know, these images are really small, so I mean, I'm lucky that my eyesight is really good, but this would be really hard to see for some people for sure. But yeah, so you kind of just work off of these and parts of them aren't even shown on here very well, so it's a little difficult to work from. Um, so I ended up, I got a little frustrated, I decided to eat lunch and turn into a normal human again. Or a normal witch. Maybe a normal witch since I'm dressed like Bobatons today. But yeah, so I had to take a little break, a breather. I also think part of it was that my boyfriend was helping me. He was doing an awesome job, but we kind of compete in a really nice way. We compete when we do puzzles. We're like, ah, I'm gonna get the most done. And by doing that, we did not follow the instructions, which would have made it so much easier from the get-go. But yeah, I just, it's a little intense. I'm feeling in a better place though. I think that may just be the food that I ate. But let's continue. I'll pan back down. So I got the puzzle all done. Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? I, I love the way, you know, how much detail they put into these. It's just gorgeous. And that's, I think that's the main reason why I would rather do a 3D puzzle over Legos because Legos, they lack this amount of detail. I know that Legos last longer than paper, um, but I just, I love how pretty realistic this looks. And I mean, it, it doesn't cost very much and it's a great afternoon activity. Um, Anyways, yeah, no, I, I really love how it turned out. I know I got a little frustrated there. And I think if you just follow the instructions, it's really not going to take you that long. It took me, ooh, little embarrassed to admit probably six hours and I think that's because I was fumbling with how to put it together um, and you can see like the roof was probably the hardest part to put together just because it you know it has so many of the exact same looking pieces which is always an issue when it comes to puzzles I, I love it I'll show you some detailed pictures at the end of this video and I think like last steps on this one, I might 
go in um, and kind of disassemble it and use some super glue just to hold the pieces together a little bit more and I'm gonna use it as decoration in my office. So yeah, I'm very excited. I think Revit did an amazing job and of course this is not a sponsored video by them but I will leave the link below in case you want to make something similar or check out their products. All right, so thanks guys for tuning in. Also, do you want me to sip you up both Sure. Or like... Yeah, no, I'd love to use them. <laughs> <laughs> the the tag is still on this. I know. It's not like I love this. I know. Like but this is your choice. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I <laughs>